Many schools run on a multi-day cycle that doesn't tie in with the days of the week, so you might have a four-day cycle or a six-day cycle. And it makes it a bit harder to schedule your appointments, so particularly if you're teaching particular classes on particular days. So this is an easy way to set up a spreadsheet that you can then use to import those classes into a calendar. Um, so my friend has a six-day cycle and she would like to be able to schedule in when her classes are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this information here, this day one, day two, because I'm actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in these dates. So this is today's date, the 18th of December and tomorrow's date, the 19th of December. And put in this as if oh, this was a class I was doing between two and three. Now I'm going to copy this down and the great thing about the spreadsheet is as it does that it will add one day on each time intuitively. So then I'll drag it down a little ways. This will go to about the end of January. The next thing I would do is this. Now the subject column is going to be the name that appears on the event. So later on you'll probably put day one art class or whatever it happens to be. But for now, if you type in the day of the week, um, and you only need to type in two of them, then again, the spreadsheet will do the work for you. As you start to copy it down, it will automatically figure out you're working with the days of the week, and it will put the correct ones in. So now I can go down here, and I'll bring in the days of the week all the way through to the end that I want. Now once we're at this point, um, one thing I would do is, um, there's a little bar here, If you, when you put your mouse over this line here, it turns to a hand. If you drag it down, it will freeze that top row. Then I can just go this little arrow on the A column, and I'm going to sort it A to Z. When I do that, what's going to happen is, all my days will be sorted out. Now because I know I don't go to school on Saturdays through Sundays, I can automatically delete all those columns. So I'm going to go to Edit, Oh, sorry, edit those rows. So delete these rows. So now I've got no weekend days in here. Now I'm going to um, return this. Whoops, I'm going to actually return this back to the start in order of start date. Maybe Z. And now I'm back to my today. Now what I need to think about is I'm going to need to go quickly through my calendar and think about um, what are the days that I won't be at school. So I'm going to be at school until the 20th but I won't be at school from Monday 23rd through until the 10th of January. So I'm going to get rid of that, delete those rows. And then say for instance we had, for some reason, we had um, the 26th of, sorry, the, let's say the, the 30th of January. If that was a public holiday, I would take that out as well. And again, this, this setup you kind of need to go through and just pull out the days that you won't be at school. And once you've got that, um, you've got that sorted out and it's uh, you, you're happy that it's accurate you can now delete out the days of the week so so long as this is now in date order once you've deleted out the days of the week then you can come back in here day one day two day three day four you can put in however many days there are in your cycle um, I often get errors when I try to copy this down, so what I end up doing is just highlighting it, I copy it, paste it in, and then I just double down, copy a bit more, and then again, you can, if I needed to go further, I could copy that whole length and then copy it down, it would be a bit quicker. So now what happens is, I have um, my dates here, I have which day of the cycle it is. And then this is the greatest part. What I can do now is I can sort this A to Z. And now all my day one events are here. So let's say my day one is um, art in kindergarten. Then what I can do is I can copy that day one, highlight all the day one events, press paste. And now all of my day one events are ready to go. The time is right. Um, the description is right, the date's right, and then I can go through and do the same with all my other ones. So this one might be PE in grade 2. Copy that, paste it over the top. Now, the only thing you really need to check for is to do a quick check before you um, sort these into days. To maybe go towards 
um, the end of your list when it's still in date order. And just check to make sure that day one on your school calendar is the same date that's shown here. Because if it's not, then you've got an error and you're going to need to go back and fix, fix that up somewhere. You've probably missed a public holiday or something like that. But other than that, this is a, a great way to um, get like an odd number of days in a cycle put into your Google Calendar in a really easy way. If you have any questions at all, drop me a line. Um, and then when you're ready to import this calendar, you can check out my other video which has um, some clear instructions on how to import a calendar into Google, I'm sorry, import events into a Google Calendar using a CSV file. Have a great day.